Have you ever questioned the literal fulfillment of biblical prophecies and wondered if there's a deeper meaning? Let's dive into just a few reasons for why a literal interpretation of these prophecies do not make sense and explore just a few of many spiritual perspectives that reconciles these apparent contradictions. The 24th chapter in Matthew, where we are told that the Lord would appear in the clouds of heaven after the sun had been darkened and the moon ceased to give its light and the stars had fallen from heaven. The 19th chapter of the book of Revelation, where we have another picture of the second coming of the Lord. Here he is described as coming on a white horse followed by the angels of heaven, all of whom are riding on white horses. Will the Lord come on a white horse or will he come in the clouds of heaven? Literally, it is hard to reconcile these two different forecasts of his second advent, but if we seek for a spiritual interpretation, something which is above the literal, we will find a complete reconciliation. The kingdom of God cometh not with observation, he says, 1720. What could be more contradictory in the letter than the opposing ideas of the Lord's coming in the clouds of heaven with his coming without observation? What a magnificent coming is portrayed in the words, every eye shall see him. Revelation 1, 7. He is revealed to the whole spiritual world, yet how deep is the message that the kingdom of God is within you? The kingdom of God cometh not flashingly with a low here or low there, but the kingdom of God is within us. The only person who can receive the kingdom of God is the person who has the kingdom of God in his own heart. That means that God gives the faculty to receive, but man must tune in to the type of love and affection which characterizes heaven if he wants the kingdom of God to be within him. And that the Lord will not come with observation, but must come within you, harmonizes perfectly with the idea that the Lord becomes present by a greater understanding of the word, which will lead us to the deeper affections and greater wisdom such as is signified by the rider on the white horse. And it makes one with the picture of the Lord coming with glory in the clouds of the literal sense of the word, which are the clouds of heaven. Thanks for watching. We will be making many more videos on this subject. Feel free to check out our other biblical subjects. If you want to be notified every time we upload, make the subscribe button black. Thanks again. Until next time.